My name is Karenna. This is Shanae, and we are building strength by moving off grid. These last two weeks was the second time that Shanae and I have spent more than a few hours apart since the pandemic began. I went to coach at Mid Atlantic Field Hockey Camp in Delaware. Shanae stayed with my parents in Pennsylvania. I spent the first week away laying field lines and setting up goal cages. Shanae spent that time organizing my parents' shed to make space for Bryson's painting gear and a place for us to work. Oh, oh my gosh! Leafy! I came back home for a few days before the camp began to see her and my family. Shanae and I got some cement to build a step for the shed. We laid down rocks to create a level place to lay the blocks and a bucket. Shanae decided not to use gloves, and she learned her lesson. Her hands felt like sandpaper for the next few days. While her hands were rough, the cement looked smooth. I went back to camp, met some cool coaches, coached some fun kids, and spent time at the beach at Cape Penelope State Park. Kids come from the East Coast, mainly Pennsylvania, Virginia, Delaware, and Maryland, to this camp at the beach. This is the 45th year of Mid-Atlantic Field Hockey, my fifth year as a coach, or JC, and my first year back after moving to South Africa in 2017. It was an opportunity for me to share my projects and goals in South Africa with people who share a love of hockey, but may never have considered how that love of sport could transform the world. Ren started in August 2018 with the intention of using hockey to connect with youth in the Kailicha Township. Townships are urban slums in South Africa. Many homes are made of sheet metal and informal materials. Access to water, sanitation, and electricity is limited and inconsistent. Food insecurity remains an increasing concern among families, along with safety in general, as crime and violence continue to rise. We are building REN off-grid as our way to address these concerns. By building off-grid, we will rely more on ourselves than on government and corporations to meet our basic needs. Our support for development programs will be built on a strong foundation that sustains itself and empowers others to do the same. We'll be returning to South Africa in January to set up camp and begin laying the foundation for the Enough Garden. This garden will form the foundation of all our projects as it aims to ensure that everyone has enough. We held our first fundraiser on June 6th to begin raising funds for this garden. Our vision includes bringing three youth 
who we've met over the last few years. Each have dreams to study further and to be able to help people who are experiencing the struggles they know so well. To raise funds to support us, we are starting to paint field hockey sticks. Badass like Bryson would want us to. Making friendship bracelets and sewing hair scrunchies. These scrunchies will be made from our friend Brittany's clothing who for a second forgot she was enough. These items will be a colorful reminder that we are all enough and we deserve to have enough to eat. These funds will allow us to build the enough garden in the rural Eastern Cape of South Africa. This will lay the foundation of our projects as it teaches us how to grow enough to eat in this dry area. It will create opportunities for us to teach others to do the same. Food gives us the energy to move our bodies, to build strength physically, also mentally and emotionally. Participation in sport or physical activities increases our capacity to learn new things and often brings us together with diverse groups of people, which improves our health socially. This is why Shanae and I want to build our sport programs off-grid. When I went back to camp, Shanae created a workspace in the shed that represents these goals. You did it, Leafy. It looks really good. Now we have a space to paint and to sew, along with a place to plan and to write. This gives me a place to work on my PhD thesis, which centers around sport and the sustainable development goals in one South African township. Shanae and I share love for sport and society. We have different skills and passions to get us there. Our experiences with diverse groups of people have shown us the value in working with people who are different than you. We look forward to bringing people with diverse skills and ideas to our land so that together we can build strength by going off grid. Thank you. Danke. Nkosi. Bye.